Turning to the war on terror, federal agents raided a Massachusetts computer software firm overnight, and they insisted that an initial read today showed no threat to national security. But CBS Boston station WBZ-TV and CBS News have been digging into this same company for months. Jim Axelrod has what our own independent investigation found. Hours after the president and CEO walked out, the federal agents went in, raiding this nondescript building in suburban Boston, looking for evidence that could tie the computer consulting firm P Tech to international terrorism. P Tech CEO is Osama Ziadi. This is him three years ago in Saudi Arabia. He's pictured with a man named Yasin Al Qadi a Saudi named by President Bush as a financial backer of Osama bin Laden. Yasin al Khani is, uh, fits in this category of wealthy Saudi businessmen who believe in and finance radical Islamic extremist groups worldwide. In an investigation done by CBS station WBZ-TV, three sources say al Khani is the chief financial backer of P-Tech. Then there's P-Tech board member Yaqub Mirza. He's an officer for a string of Islamic charities which have been a concern to the U.S. government. This becomes all the more alarming when you learn exactly what it is P-Tech does. The company works in enterprise architecture, the blueprinting of an entire computer network. Computer consultant Indira Singh says such a company could gain full access to a client's data. That could be rather dangerous. It could be devastatingly dangerous especially when you examine the roster of P-TECH's clients. The company's web page lists the FBI, the IRS, NATO, the Air Force, the Naval Air Command, the Departments of Energy and Education, the Postal Service, the U.S. House of Representatives. Other sources say P-TECH has done business with the Department of Defense, the Secret Service, even the White House. And that gives you a tremendous opportunity, if you're so inclined, to examine, manipulate, download all of the most sensitive information of whoever it is you've contracted with. Absolutely. Absolutely. But tonight, the National Security Agency tells CBS News it is absolutely convinced p software is safe. I'm sure that in the end they're going to find that there's nothing of interest here. But experts like Matthew Levitt look at Yasin al Qadi and disagree. For someone like that to be involved in any capacity uh, in uh, an organization, a company that has access to classified information, that has access to government open or classified uh, computer systems, would be of grave concern. Federal agents may soon know if P-TECH is just a company with some questionable connections or a true threat to the nation's security. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.